We are at his essay. This is High Priestess Ashodhara Singh. Welcome number 8 for those of you born on the 8th, the 17th, the 26th. Please add up your birth date. If it adds to a number 8, then you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of March 2024. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three cards from three different decks. We're using the Angel deck this time as the central theme card, the Chakra deck and the Akashic deck. The four weeks in a month are described with the help of four cards. From four different decks, you have the Vika deck, the Gilded Tarot, the Golden Wheel, and the Dragon deck. All right, let's see what we have as a central theme for you. Number eight for March, you have pulled out the Nine of Fire or the Nine of Wands, the Victim card, and the Queen of Horses. So the Nine of Fire or the Nine of Wands essentially talks to you, uh, talks about not giving up. You need to have the courage and believe in what in yourself and the path that you have chosen for yourself, right? And you need to uh, protect what you have created. So for those of you who feel threatened for the simple reason because you are waiting for someone else to give you credit for your dreams, then this card is pretty much for you. In my experience, I have seen, since I am a creator inventor, um, I'm a remedy giver in uh, magic. Many a times I have come across cases where people tend to take what others think of them or their works as the final word in terms of how good they are. Please remember and remind yourself that if you expect other people to define you and your life path, then you need to work on your own self and on what motivates you. You're going about it the wrong way, you need to fix it, okay? The victim card. So many a times um, in situations where you feel like there is no, there is no chance for you to be heard, and uh, you feel weighed down, you tend to use the victim card. This is exactly what it is, the victim card, okay? Just like it says. Let me give you an example. Say you are in a situation where you are doing not as good as the rest of your friends or people you know. Because of circumstances, because of how uh, you were deprived of opportunities as compared to your um, friends, or people you know, you tend to use the victim card and say, hey, I had no control over these things and because of that, I'm not as good in a, you know, in a place as you are. Again, I'm citing an example. You can see what's happening in your life and accordingly. So this can be in your personal life, in your professional life, but you will be put in a situation where the universe is going to test you. Are you using the victim card? Are you playing the victim here or are you going to disallow? You will not allow anyone to call you a victim of your circumstances. Instead, will you rise above it? I promise you, if you rise above it, you, have, you will prove yourself and having proven yourself, you will start doing better than before in whatever aspect of life you are in or in for. The Queen of Forces, don't go by the gender, you could be a male also. This talks about balance. This talks about getting all the elements together, getting all the, your raw material and all the things together that influence your decisions and making a decision which is balanced, which is informative and which is formative. All right, let's move on to the first week. Number eight, you've pulled out the full card. The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Coins or the Ten of Wheels or the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. This is a beautiful spread. Uh, number eight I'm seeing after a very long time for you. So the Fool card speaks about you need to take a leap of faith in certain aspects of your life. Could be one or could be several. But overthinking sometimes creates pockets of doubt. And these pockets of doubt are unwanted elements. Um, and that is not something you want to invite in your life right now, right? Um, 
you must be confident in the path that you have taken, chosen, or maybe the path has chosen you. And you're going in the right direction. Just have faith in the universe. Tell yourself that the universe has your back, which it does at all times. Okay, I'm going to keep sipping my chai. The Ten of Cups we use this a lot in spell casting. It's a beautiful rainbow-like card. This card talks about um, everything going really well in your life, in your personal life. You should be very grateful. Um, this is something that your vibe, you're vibing, and you have to match this vibe. If you don't, please get in touch or speak to yourself. Ask yourself why aren't you? What do you want to complete it? We always want. Uh, what the neighbor has and even if we don't say it openly in some level there is always this comparison especially people who shout from the rooftops I've noticed and say oh I never compare they're the first people to compare right so if you say oh wow the neighbor's lighting is better than mine it's a good compliment for the neighbor doesn't work very well for you does it so if you say oh um, I have one child and the and you know people actually do that um, I have one child I must educate my child, I must give the best to my child and then the child grows up and gets spoiled being the only child and then you go crazy on yourself telling yourself oh my god why did I try so hard, why did I have to do this so you see you need to stop just go with the flow life is all about going with the flow taking it as it comes live and let live these are all actual very good uh, plans to live by I'm gonna say okay so ten of cups is a card which says that you have a very good happy family life and if you feel otherwise, please get in touch and let's see what we can do to fix it. Thank you. The next card is another 10 and that is 10 of coins. So again, look at both the 10s you pulled out. So here we are talking about a very good family life or um, a very good, if you, you know, it, it seems that you and your spouse or you and your partner both seem to be doing well. Um, this card also means that you seem to have struck a balance in terms of inflow outflow savings and it's all very very good okay be very grateful for it keep keep walking this path that you have chosen and this is your vibe you are um, you need to match it if you don't you need to realize this is a very rare card if you're matching your finances then it's something that you know switch your vibe if it's not if it's not like this because when you read it remember again of course it's a general prediction but if you feel like no you know i don't feel like that then ask yourself, are you are you talking to yourself the way you should in terms of monies? Uh, Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles. Again, we use this a lot in spell casting. This card says that you will receive a better offer than what you expected. And this is going to be something um, in terms of jobs, promotions, or uh, business, or uh, real estate buying, selling, uh, shares, whatever is there in terms of money or monies in your life is going to bear fantastic fruit and this is a very good offer you should you should consider taking it all right the second week of uh, march 2024 number eight you've pulled out the world card the empress card the three of wheels the three of coins and the ace of cups so you pulled out the ace of coins in the first week and now you've pulled out the ace of cups again course we use this in spell casting this card talks about you being surrounded enveloped even by unconditional love your cup runneth over and this is something that people tend to take for granted maybe that's what's happening to you maybe you're thinking the people who love you unconditionally don't really have a choice in loving you because perhaps of what you do for them in return or the equation is such like a mother and child or sibling or you know parent but uh, there is definitely some taking for granted scenario happening in your life you need to rectify that make them feel wanted appreciated and of course express gratitude for their presence and let it be shown okay it's always good to acknowledge the good things in life and that's why the card is showing up by the way because you're not doing it three of coins three of wheels this card says that uh, there's a card of abundance of course there is uh, it's three of coins is a card that says that your there is money talk happening with your bank in the center so there is if you've if you've contacted investors if you've contacted if you've put up your your you know land in the market 
or if you have put up your resume for a job if you have if you're putting ads for your business whatever it is the right kind of people are now sitting up and taking notice and they're talking about you and that's a very good sign which means you're, you're moving in the right direction and this is definitely something that is going to make you very very happy and successful in terms of finance the empress card so don't go uh, by the empress in the sense being a uh, the female we're talking about feminine energy here, abundant energy, pregnant energy, you're pregnant with ideas, you're abundant with ideas, you are uh, rich, fruitful and creative at this point of time. Of course, if you're trying for a baby, now is the right time. Um, there will be certain doubts that you won't be sure of, um, whether it's a yes or a no. And at that point of time, you need to tell yourself that you need to get the answer through gaining knowledge, gain some information, find out do some research if there is something that you're not sure about you need to cut to the chase and see you know address the why like they say why is this not happening because if you want to be successful and if you want to overcome an obstacle the only difference between you on this side and you on the other side is you know removing the obstacle and the obstacle can be anything but it can't be something that you just can't overcome if you're on the right path so keep that in mind right the world card is here which means that you could be ending a cycle or beginning a new one um, either which way this is this card also means that uh, you need to watch your karmic baggage are you behaving uh, well with yourself start with that and then move on to someone else because we often and most of the time of course forget about our own selves how are you treating yourself are you being nice to yourself it is actually uh, tried and tested when people think that karmic baggage has to do with ancestors what they have done or not done and what we have done and not done in terms of how we, we are treating others but remember your self matters also in terms of karmic baggage so see that um, if that is something that you need to work on and of course if you have karmic baggage please don't forget to release it the third week you pulled out the karma card the devil card lot of major arcana cards so blessings of the angels are definitely happening for you in march two of wands and the seven of coins or the seven of pentacles so the karma card i've just explained um, is what we call the judgment card right from rider Waite smithwick this is a card that says that you need to remove your karmic baggage because it's definitely there okay you have the world card the karma card so this is a sign that you're getting check um have your readings done have your uh, coming back it checked find a place that you trust where you can have it released okay and we do coming baggage spells ours is a um, is a yearly affair so if you have a coming baggage spell done it's valid for one year normally that's exactly what happens if somebody says it's a permanent coming baggage release that's untrue it has to be annual the devil card is the next card this means that you could be a capri or dealing with one this card also means that you need to get rid of something that is a ball and chain around your ankles something is addicting for you what are you doing are you obsessing about your work are you um, are you uh, not resting well are you overworking this is never a good card okay are you thinking too much about something and working too less or are you working too less about something and not thinking and because of that you're coming across as rash and impulsive there is something that is disbalanced in your life you need to balance it out and once you do that you will overcome the maybe this is the obstacle we were talking about right so please figure out what it is and fix it it doesn't always have to be smoking drinking drugs okay there are other things also are you being negative are you being judgmental are you being pessimistic right um are you are you trying out too many things at one time and spreading yourself thin it could be a lot of things but whatever it is it's not working out for you so please de-addict yourself from it two of wands um, tells me that you are uh, you already have something in your hands something beautiful in your hands and now you're working on it and you're trying to make it better because of which if you notice sometimes you're at loggerheads with your own self which means you are not um, you're working on yourself and on this particular project or this thing that you have but 
um, you play the devil's advocate, which means you have the pros and cons in the same pocket. Um, that is something which works well, but after a while it can also be, be a little uh, negative and self-defeating. Once you reach that point where you feel like it's done, right? you need to put that project aside. Don't overdo it or overshine it. Okay? If there's too much of a sparkle, you can't even see the diamond. That's what I'm trying to say. Of course, you might be planning a trip by the water. And the seven of coins or the seven of pentacles tells me that you are looking at filling your coffers, you're looking at increasing your savings, you may have uh, dipped into your savings and picked up something, um, you know, recently and now you're thinking about refilling it. It's also possible that you're thinking about ways and means of increasing your savings because of a future investment. The last week of March 2024, number eight, you've pulled out the chariot card, the six of cups, the knight of wands and the six of swords. So the chariot card tells me that you could be a Cancerian or dealing with one. This card also means that you need to uh, you need to understand that your life is moving in a forward, progressive manner, and it will continue to do so if you remain uh, and maintain the balance that you seem to have struck in your life. If you disbalance yourself, then the progress will slow down. There will be progress and a forward one at that, but it won't be as quick as you want it to be. So whatever it is that you require to balance yourself, please go ahead and do it. It's not easy, but hey, guess what? It's not impossible either, right? Six of Cups tells me that uh, you will be nostalgic in the last week of March number eight. You will be thinking about uh, the old times. You will have memories of childhood sneaking up here and there. Somebody from the past might also come up into your life, could be an old friend. Um, and having said that, I'm not going to fill your mind uh, with stuff you don't want, but hey, uh, it's always better that I forewarn you so that you're forearmed. Nobody comes back into your life without a purpose. And if even if they don't realize it, ultimately it does end up like that. Um, and that's what you need to watch out for. If it's just a brief, uh, hello, how are you? That's great. But just make sure that um, feathers aren't ruffled in the process and people don't feel insecure in the process. The Knight of Wands, so you are... Uh, you have a creative solution that's coming your way and because this card is shining through into your readings it looks like you already have the movement on so this is beautiful because combined with the rest of the cards it looks like your life is moving pretty much forward in a beautiful fashion and you seem to be doing pretty well for yourself so good for you on that score okay and the last card for you march uh, for march number eight you pulled out the six of swords the Six of Swords is a card which says that you might be planning a trip by the water. It also means that uh, in a situation where you're thinking that does it is it does it get any better than this, uh, please tell yourself that this is as good as it gets. So take what has been offered to you, cut your losses and move on. All right, number eight, it is one of the best spreads I have read for you in a very long time. I'm so happy and excited for you. Do let me know how your month went and if you want to have spells done or readings done, you know where to find me. Take care of yourselves, love, light and knowledge to you all. Be at his essay and home survey, Bhavantu Sukhinam.